upward portfolio for beginners hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can set up a portfolio on upwork so having said that let's just jump into the video now over here i'm on my profile over here on upwork as you can see now once you come over here once you've signed up as a you know freelancer what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna go over to your profile over here so if you click on profile over here as you can see this is how it's going to look like right you're going to have all of your jobs over here you're going to have your main portfolio down below and then you're going to have your cover letter or this is also a portfolio you can see over here at the top right here now this is my account right here i haven't been active on it for quite some time now and uh, over here down below you can see all of the successes i have now over here as you can see as i said before this is going to be your main portfolio right so over here you have your main portfolio one to two pages now i haven't updated this portfolio in a very very long time but uh hopefully i can go ahead and update it as well i haven't you know touched it in a while so the main portfolio is going to be this right when your clients come over to your profile they're going to be greeted with this message telling them about your skills, who you are, what you've done, all right? What you need to do is you're gonna need to, you know, make this part very impactful and very powerful as well. You don't need to go too in detail. You just gotta, you know, be able to represent yourself better. So just make it as beautiful as well. You don't need to write it as long as I have. I mean, I, at the time I didn't know that, but I've written it way too long. But, you know, what you can do is you can add like a small paragraph, like this much and you are good to go all right but uh, we'll get to that later first let me show you how you can add you know stuff to your portfolio so down below you're gonna have your portfolio and over here you can add pretty much anything all right it's gonna have the preview button as well uh you just simply click on it and over here people can see what you have done over here the video is gonna play over here down below is the original file of the project over here is gonna be the tabs and stuff like that then if you click on this product, click on this link, it's going to take you over to the video where this video has been stored, right? Top 10 things you didn't know about Derrick Henry. So this was a video that I created a little long ago. So that's why I added it into my portfolio. Now, how do you basically do it? As you can see over here, you have the plus icon. You just simply click on this icon and it's going to take you over here at portfolio project. So over here, you're going to enter a descriptive title of what that is. You know you're gonna add related specialized profile if not which is optional if you don't have to do that then you have to upload a you know related upwork job which is also optional and then completed time and then you have to select the template add details and preview all right so let's get to it so over here i'm just simply gonna add the title first you need to find where your project is so if you recently created one you can go ahead and upload it as well so I'm gonna go ahead and go into my drive real quick and I'll come over here i'm gonna this one okay that one's empty all right let me just um we'll go with this one i'll just get the link for this one right basically how to all right then i'll click on done and over here i'm gonna enter a descriptive title i'm just gonna call it a it's a simple how to voiceover nothing much you know like a demo and then over here you can add in your specialized product if you don't have it you can go ahead and do that over here you can add a specialized project as well i'm going to choose voiceover over here i'm going to choose that and completed date is going to be um i would say may week three so i'm just simply going to choose the date over here i'm going to this june i'm just simply going to select this one here we go now we just simply click on go to select template over here choose how you want the project to be displayed to your clients all right so remember what i showed you previously so this is how it's going to look like so there's going to be a gallery there's going to be a case study and classic i'm going to choose the gallery mode and i'm going to click on add to details and over here you just drag the file over here or add the video link i'm just simply going to add the video link i'm going to paste it okay so it has to be on youtube all right i guess we can just simply drag and drop it i'll just download the file then yeah, I'm just simply going to download the file and I'll upload it in a second. So I'm going to pause this video right here and I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, so here we go. We have now downloaded it. I'll just go ahead and find it. 
drag and drop the files over here. All right, these, okay, so I have to convert it or embed a YouTube link. Well, that I think it, we can do that because then I would like to have to go ahead and trim the video down. It's just gonna take some time. So I'll just go over here onto my YouTube channel over here. I'll access the studios and upload the video as a unlisted. So I'll click on create upload video and I will now select and drop the file over here. So as you can see, it's uploading. There we go. Just gonna wait for it to be uploaded. And uh, no, it's may not made for kids. I'm gonna choose the private. I'm gonna click on done. And then over here, I'll just, you know, copy the link. But before that, I have to wait for it to be uploaded. So, but I think we can do that. So I'm gonna click over here and I'm gonna paste the link and just click on save. There we go. Now we enter a caption. I'll just uh, copy the title, the video, and I'll paste it over here. There we go. Now we add a skill or deliverability. It is optional, but you have to add it. So I'll just say voice over recording. And over here we have a bunch of different options, but we're gonna how to, there we go. That's pretty much it. Project URL, where here you can upload the project URL, complete the project URL. But for now, we'll just leave it at that. And then we just simply click on go to preview. Okay, so I have to fill it out. I'll just write, it's a preview of a voiceover I did. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. If you like it, let me know and we'll work together. Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah, there we go. Now we just simply click on go to preview and this is gonna be the preview over here. So over here is gonna be your main file. I think that looks good. And then we just simply click on publish. Yeah, I think this is gonna be uploaded as well in a couple of minutes, but Pretty much that's it. That's how you do it. So down below, you're going to have your portfolio. So as you can see, it rose from four to five. If I go to the next page, there we go. It's over here on the front, as you can see over here. Simple how to voiceover. See, that's how you do it. Now, what remains is for you to do is fill out this form right here. Basically, you know, in an introduction. What I basically did over here was I copied it from another you know, top ranking Upwork person, you know, and then I copied it and I changed it up. I added my own information and my own name, my own skills. I removed a bunch of stuff that I thought that was redundant that didn't, you know, fall into my category of what type of work I did. And then I basically, you know, rewrote it all. And then I, that's what I did. Now, how do you find out over here? If we search for Upwork freelancers, I'll just go over there. And over here, we can find the top rated freelancers over here. And as you can see, this is going to be the badge. People are going to be given this one. And here we go. Now, this is this the badge. I had that top rated freelancers. Okay, over here, I believe we will find it. Here we go. So, as you can see, these are some of the top rated freelancers. We have agency members, business managers over here. And find the best one, maybe over here. Here we go. Here are the top. 27 users, you know, professional users, the top rated people on Upwork. So over here, what you can do is you can go ahead and check out their profile. And then you can see if you can copy them, if it likes, if it falls into your category. So this one, this person right here at the top, this one is the top one. So let's go ahead and check his profile out. So over here, let's see what he wrote. So over here, this is what he wrote. Okay, that's quite a long, long number but what you can do is you can just you know go ahead and copy it all right since this is a different type of marketer this is basically an optimizer so we'll go with top rated video editor or voiceover artists over here i'm going to search for video editor freelancer video editors for hire in may 2022 top rated freelancers that you can see so just simply click on a profile and then go into their profile and see what they wrote. So as you can see, this is what I was talking about. It's pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Hello everyone, my name is Max. He's a professional videographer and photographer for the past seven years. He also has a team and we offer awesome video production service. Pretty simple, right? Nothing too major, pretty easy. Let's check out this person. Over here, she has also wrote a bunch of letters. So she basically tells, you know, the people what she is, what she does, where she graduated, her past, you know, work ethics and all of that. 
and yeah that's pretty much it so what you're going to need to do is just simply copy it and just simply go over to quillbot or your own document and then just rewrite what this person wrote or this person or this person whichever one you like you know read them whichever one you think falls into you and what you think relates to you better just copy them and just upload them onto your profile right over here and you are good to go so pretty much that's it that's how you do it let me just over here visibility unlisted i'm gonna click on unlisted i'm gonna click on save so pretty much that's it that's how you do it that's how you create a portfolio for you upwork as a beginner so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye